guys welcome back to my channel so today I'm here with a box opening and I am so excited this is a custom baby that I have been waiting on for a year <laughs> um, I reached out to the artist March 31st of 2020 and today is March 27th of 2023 sorry March 2022 not 2020 that would be way too long but anyway this baby has been a long time coming and he just got here the box is so heavy. This weighs 20 pounds. Uh, I'm not kidding, it actually weighs 20 pounds. So, we are gonna open this up. I'm literally so excited. Oh my goodness. It's all wrapped up. Alright, I'm trying not to rip the box itself. I'm just trying to get the paper off. Okay. Perfect. And now I'm just gonna get this part off. Goodness, this is so heavy. Oh my goodness. Wow. Okay. I'm so excited. Oh my goodness. Okay, we're gonna look at the note. And I'm sorry if you think I'm going slow. I have been waiting for this doll genuinely for a year, so I'm going to be taking it all in. I've been waiting so long for this baby. This is so stunning. The wax seal. Wow. This probably has the paperwork in it, so I might not show that just yet. Yes, okay. Wow. Okay. So, I will show this after because it does show the baby this is a little gift set and it has little loveys in it this is like a rattle and this one's a lovey and they're both gray rabbits so cute and this baby came from spain this is a cute little outfit Okay, this is a cute little outfit. These are two pairs of socks and, oh my goodness, this is a sweatshirt with like bunny ears and this is pretty big, so if you couldn't already tell, this is a toddler. <laughs> oh my goodness, here's another outfit. socks and then a plaid shirt and little red corduroy suspender pants that's really cute oh my goodness. all right this is a little sea turtle shirt and some jean shorts these are so cute Okay, this, we have a little turtle pacifier and it's um, modified to be magnetic because he has a magnet. This is a little spray bottle so I can put water in there for his hair. And then, it's 
tiny little comb and brush to style his hair. That's really cute. I'm gonna put those back in there so I don't lose them. And then I just wanna make sure we get all the goodies before we open the baby. This, here we go. This is just diapers. These are size four, which I don't have any this big. <laughs> so size four diapers, big baby. I wanna make sure that is everything. Yes, it is. All right. I'll save this for a second. I'll explain that in a little bit. We're gonna open this. Oh my goodness, he's so heavy. And it is a boy, if you couldn't tell. Wow. Okay, so his blanket, the, um... The wrapping has his artist's name on it, so if you can read that, it says Paki Galan. I am so excited. This is so pretty. The ribbon that has her name on it. Okay. Oh my goodness. Gotta take off the socks and I'll bring you guys in for a closer look in a bit. These feet are so big. <laughs> He's so huge. And he has an armature too, if you hear that like creaking. Oh, this little outfit. She sent me photos of him wearing this. He's huge. Like, this baby is so big. Oh my goodness, okay, let's see the face. I don't know if you're... Okay, he does have a diaper on. Well, actually, I'll show this first. <laughs> this is a second pair of legs. I had him made with sitting and standing legs. So I'm gonna be able to like change it out to be however I want him to be sitting or standing. Wow. So he has a second set of legs, which is a little strange, but that is how I wanted him. All right, and let's see this face. Okay, he has two diapers. Oh my goodness, the suspense. Wrapped in plastic. <laughs> Did not seem to untie this. All right, I don't want to cut the baby, but I'm gonna cut this. That little face. Wow, look at that hair. His hair is insane. It's so well done. So this is the Vito sculpt by Laura Tuzio Ross. And so I had him made by Pocky Galan. I had her custom make him for me, like I said, with two sets of limbs. I bought both the sitting and standing version of this kit and just sent her both of the limbs. And so I'll be able to change him out to standing if I want or sitting if I want, which I think is very unique. And I, he just turned out so amazing. <laughs> wow. I might swap his eyes, that's one thing that I've been considering, because I think I might want um, brown eyes a little bit more than I like these blue ones, but I'm not sure. That's an easy fix. I haven't decided fully if I want to do that, but here he is. He is so big and heavy, and he, since he has an armature, he can like hold poses really well. 
sorry, I'm just like taking it all in. I've literally been waiting for this doll for a year. Wow. All right, I just wanted to show you guys, I actually did change his eyes. I put in these eyes, they're like a hazily, like brownish, greenish color. I just think they look a little bit better with his like hair and complexion, so I changed those. That was a quick, easy little change. But now I just wanted to show you his like detailing. His hair is so beautiful. I love his hair. Look at that gorgeous rooting. Sorry, it's a little messy back here and he is also not wearing any clothes. I'm about to change him and just like play around with outfits and shoes and see what I have that'll fit him. And then these are his other legs. So I haven't tried him standing yet. I'm gonna hang out with him sitting for a bit and see how I feel about that. And then I'll probably try him standing also because that is pretty fun. Like that's a cool thing about him that he can have both. So definitely want to take advantage of both of those choices. But yeah, he looks so cute. I got him all dressed in a cute little outfit and he looks adorable. And the name I'm going with for him is Lucas. So this is little Lucas, might call him Luke, Lukey, I don't know. But he looks so cute, and I love this outfit on him. I want to take him out, but I also want to try the standing legs on him just to see what they look like, so I'm going to do that right now. So here he is on the standing legs. The way he's weighted, he has too much weight in the top part of him. Like with my other standing toddlers, you have to weight the weight like in the legs and a little, maybe a little in the body, but like nothing up top. And so he has weight in him from like being on the sitting limbs. And I love the way he's weighted. So he can't really balance standing up. So if I wanted him to like be in the standing up one, I would have to like re-weight him to actually be able to stand. But I'm gonna enjoy him sitting for now because I really like the way he's weighted. So right now he's not standing on his own. He's leaning against the cabinet, but I'm gonna put him back on the sitting legs and then if I ever do wanna do like standing photos and like keep him on the standing for a while longer, I'll reweight him. But for now I'm gonna keep him sitting, but he literally looks so cute. But I love that he has both options to even like be able to stand, so it's amazing. So yeah, this is Lucas. That's gonna be the end of the box opening. I think he looks so cute. And then I just wanted to also, I didn't show these. This is his Certificate of Authenticity, Vito by Laura Tuzio Ross. And mine is number 40 out of 850. This is just the COA. And then this is Pocky's like certificate. So cute. Oh, and I can put in his name. That is so cute. So yeah, I am obsessed with this baby. There's definitely gonna be more videos of him soon. I actually really wanna take him out. And he's a big boy, like, this is a 30 inch kit. And he, like, he's large. He's the biggest doll I've ever owned. But I really wanna take him out. He looks so realistic and he's just so cute. So I might be doing that soon. And I'll probably post a video because of course, get some content. But yeah, this is my new baby Lucas, and I hope to do some more videos with him soon. Thank you guys so much for watching, and yeah, let me know what you think of him, and I'll see you guys there. Bye!